Aaron, huge spot for Abreu there in the 10th inning, obviously. What did you think of the way he was able to come in and, and shut things down? What really impressed you about that? The confidence with which he pitched in. With, he, you know, he right away, you know, even in his warm-ups, I just, he had a look of, yeah, give me the ball. I'm ready for this. Um, you know, he's he's done a great job for us all year. You know, we talk about that one outing in Tampa. He responded from that. You know, he didn't let that, you know, get him down at all. And, uh, you know, he's come up in some really big spots for us here a couple of times in the last couple of weeks and, and no tougher spot than that. What did you think of the stop Higashioka made on the first pitch that he threw? Yeah, I mean, Higgy's, Higgy's obviously very special back there. And um, so not surprising when he comes up with a good one. Obviously a, a tough night for Chad Green, tough night for Zach Britton. Just how concerned are you with the state of the back end of your bullpen? Yeah, I mean, we're going through our struggles. You know, the reality is Green threw the ball really well and and a great player got him on one pitch. You know, that doesn't take away from the way he's throwing the baseball right now. Um, you know, Britt, Britt's going through a tough stretch, tough time. It, it You know, even when you're great like him, um, you know, this game will do that to you. And, and you got to you got to be able to battle through it. And we'll be there and try and support him through this. And, and we know how important a role he's still going to play for us. And... Uh, you know, but, you know, no question it's tough right now, but the good thing is he has all the equipment uh, to get through this. Marley Rivera, you have the next question. Hi, Aaron. And can you look at the decision of uh, using Britain in that situation? We, um, we spoke to him before the game, and he was saying that he, he told you the conversation that he did not deserve uh, to be in those types of situations for the Yankees. Well, I mean, we're, we're now in extra innings and we've used a, a lot of high leverage situations. So, you know, Britt's still a great pitcher and, you know, he was the guy for that spot and that spot of the lineup. And, you know, we we're going to have help behind him, obviously. But, um, you know, this is one of those games where you're using a lot of people. And Aaron, when, when obviously when you see Tim Anderson again, I'm so sorry to sound as bad. When you see Tim Anderson again in that position uh, in this inning, what were your thoughts? We got to get him out. And and I, I like the way, again, Albert looked on the mound. You know, wh whatever happens there, you know, whether it gets gets him or doesn't, the, good, the one thing I felt good about was how he was throwing the ball and the confidence and the poise with which he was throwing the ball. And then it's competition. And let's go. Dan Martin, you have the next question. Aaron, uh, the way uh, Judge has been swinging the bat and the way, you know, especially the last two nights, uh, how much have you needed what he's given you? Yeah, I mean, man, it's, uh, it's, it, he's, he's getting locked in, you know, and, and that's, that's exciting. I mean, a couple of great swings tonight. I mean, that first at bat going, well, I think it was a 3-2 count where he shot the ball the other way to drive in, uh, <clears throat> to drive in DJ was was just such a good at bat, such a good swing. Um, you know, the home run at bat, uh, an at bat earlier to get on. Um, obviously, the, the, the at bat that gets us the lead there in the 10th inning. Um, and, and then, you know, the Field of Dreams game. So good to see him uh, really starting to put some together, some really great at bats. You know, we know what he means to us. And, and you've talked about what your team can learn uh, from games like this, whether it's this game or a Field of Dreams game, what what do you take from a game like tonight? Uh, you know what, our our team has heart and they're tough. You know, it, <laughs> this has not been easy this season for us at all. Um, but they're tough and they they compete and they keep they keep grinding away and keep throwing punches and um, and we're going to continue to do that the rest of the way and and look forward to going out there tomorrow and and trying to grab a series. Um, but but this team showing me a lot of toughness is what they are. Brian Hoke, you have the next question. Aaron, uh, what are you starting to see with uh, Joey Gallo? Uh, any difference with him? Again, you know, I, I know you guys have asked me similar to what I've seen this entire time, which is good at bats. And now the last couple of days, he's, he's getting some results behind it as well. You know, the walks there, but his at bats are, you know, even when it ends in, you know, you know, a strikeout or a, or a stretch of a few games where he's not getting a lot of hits, he's putting together really good at bats. And, um, you know, 
that that very much continued tonight. Um, you know, he's he's a tough at bat against a lefty. Um, you know, and obviously a huge homer to give us a little bit of a cushion there. But uh, kind of more of what I've been seeing, only getting a little bit of results now the last couple of nights.